Hi, Anderson. Can you tell me what is your skill that you have? Yes. So, company? you want me to explain the technical skills or my yes. job responsibilities? Yes, uh, your job responsibility. Okay. So, my job responsibilities are like, you know, I will be involved in all the software development life cycle phases, starting from gathering the requirements from business team until the project goes to production. Mm-hmm. Even after going to the production, I do support in production as well. That means if people get any uh, error or any issues, so I, I, I am the one who will be providing root cause for that. So, uh, let me uh, explain you in detail. So, initially, uh, Users or clients will provide some requirement to us. Mm-hmm. So, as a data analyst or business analyst, I will be gathering those details from stakeholders. Mm-hmm. Once I gather those, I do some analysis on business requirements. Mm-hmm. So, once uh, I, I am done with the analysis part, if I have any queries, I will raise all those queries to stakeholders. And I will ask them the business benefits. So what is the benefit if I am going to do this? And what is the uh, impact if we are going to do this? Like this, I do some analysis and based on my analysis, I will write all the portions and get it clarified on the same time. Mm-hmm. So, once the every, once uh, all this process is completed, analysis is part, I will create documentation. Mm-hmm. So, based on the user functional documentation, I create specification document. Yes. So, my specification document will contain all the details including uh, the business analysis and as well as the technical course. So, it means the specification document will contain each and every details about the requirement. Mm-hmm. So, once uh, this is uh, created by me, I will be getting sign off from the user. So, once user provides the sign off, I will share this document to developers. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. developers, once I share the document to developers, I will be giving the walkthrough to developers. Okay. So, I will be going through the document and explaining each and every requirement step to the developers. Okay. So, can you, like, yeah. explain to me, like, you got your information from the stakeholder yes. and then you give it to the developer after you analyze it, correct? After analyzing and as well as discussing with the user stakeholders regarding the requirement impact and why we require this and what is the business impact and what is the cost optimization all these things after discussing all these things mm-hmm. okay. everything is okay who are the stakeholders yeah. are you talking about data consulting or is this uh, western digital in both the places in data oh. consultancy services okay. as well explain to me who are the stakeholders who yes are yes also? i will first tell you about the data consultancy services mm-hmm. So, for Tata Consultancy Services, AXA was my client. So, AXA is a multinational insurance company in US. So, the home branch is located in US. It's an insurance company. So, my domain was insurance. So, when you say insurance on daily basis, people will be uh, taking some insurance and all those kind of data will be generated at insurance offices and those will be uh, taken into the Oracle databases. Mm-hmm. So, whenever there is a requirement to do something, the stakeholder will directly send an email to me because I was the one who was taking care of all the areas of the services. Even the developers as well as testers, anyone has any doubt, they will come back to me because I am the one who, was having, uh, who is having all the knowledge throughout the SDLC phases. Okay. So, the stakeholder are the U.S. company? Yes, U.S. company. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm sorry, what is the name of the U.S. company? AXA, AXA, AXA Insurance. E-X-A. Yeah, A-X-A, okay. exactly. Okay, okay. alright. Okay, please continue. Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. So, where is that? I forgot where I am. Uh, until the developer. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. So, once I provide the walkthrough to developer, the developer may ask few queries related to the coding changes. So, once you ask me the changes, all all developer queries will be get started in the walkthrough meeting itself. So, walkthrough... What are the developers? What, what are their functions? Uh, the developer task is to mainly do the code changes and create the programming code. 
Okay. All right. Yeah. They are the developers. So once the developer understood this uh, requirement changes and the requirement, so he will start creating it. So we will get some timelines from him. How much time will it take to uh, complete this request for him? So all these details I will get from developers. So once the uh, development activity is done by developer, he do some internal testing that is called unit testing. So once the unit testing is done by the developer. i will be involving again and i will be doing the integration testing mm-hmm. so that is uh, in tcs we call it as integration testing here in wd they call it as uh, what is that lab testing lab testing mm-hmm. so i do that lab testing after finishing the unit testing so once uh, i, I uh, once the testing is done by me mm-hmm. it will go to production Mm-hmm. So even after going to the production, we will have UAT user acceptance testing. Mm-hmm. So there also will be involving and providing the support for UAT as well. Mm-hmm. So in this throughout life cycle activities, if someone is getting any problem or any issue, they will come back to me and they will ask me about the solution because uh, because I am the one who provides the solutions for the uh, requirement changes or code changes. Mm-hmm. So it's more like you know uh, collaborating with different teams, interacting with different people. on daily basis interacting with stakeholders as well as developers and interacting with uh, each and every one and collaborating with the stakeholder on daily basis and getting the problems sorted out so these are the my responsibilities okay all right okay um this is when you are in tata correct uh in tata as well as in wd Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. You are also same thing, but in WD, I am doing few additional activities like creating data dictionaries. What's that? Data dictionary is a thing like you know it will have each and every detail information about any. Uh, see, for example, here in WD, Western Digital is a manufacturing company. So when you say about manufacturing, so I am I am creating a. Uh, data dictionary for manufacturing process that means it will contain each and every detail about the uh, wd hard disk drive products actually here the wd uh, uh, they manufacture hard drive, hard disk drive yeah so uh, starting from the basic thing to until the end what happens in the wd manufacturing process how they design the drive what are the components we have in hard disk drive all this kind of information will be there in data dictionary So I am creating the data dictionary as well here. Mhm. Okay. All right. And now, yeah. Ah, uh, the more into data analysis because uh, here most of the people they uh, they don't involve in data analysis. If you get any requirement, first of all we need to analyze it. Actually, my technical skills are SQL, PL, SQL, Oracle database, DB2 database, as well as MS SQL Server database. Can you explain to me what is SQL? SQL is a structured query language. Structured query. Structured structured query language. It is used to manipulate the data or store the data into the database. Mm-hmm. So we can do any uh, manipulations in database. Uh, more like you know. Mm-hmm. So in order to talk to database, we need a language that is SQL, structured query language. It can be used for any database. Uh, even you. Take MS SQL Server, MySQL, or a DB2. You can use SQL to talk to any database in the market. Okay, but do you mean by talk to any? Uh, talk to in a sense interacting to. <laughs> yeah, interacting to any database. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. You have been opening up my knowledge into this data anyway. Okay. <laughs> okay. Any more things that I have to get from you. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Uh, you are a strong user in Excel. Yes, Excel. I do mapping. I mapping mostly. I use Excel for doing data mapping from source to target system here. Okay. So if you are, if you were to come for an interview, we ask you to do an Excel task. Do you mind? Would you mind? Sorry, I did not hear get your point. If we were asked you to come for an interview and yeah. ask you to do an Excel task, would you mind? Yeah. You, yeah, you I are okay with that. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay. But actually, uh, yeah, yes, please continue. Um, do you have any background in Power BI? 
Oh, oh sorry, what is it? Power BI. Power BI. Yeah, BI tool. I am aware of BI tool. Uh, have you used it? Yes, 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 yes. For creating the reports, we use it. Okay. All right. So you were saying? Uh, nothing. Nothing is from my side. <laughs>